So check this out. This is a Paddle 4 television computer game by Roberts, the Pro Line, featuring four games with detachable remotes. It's the everyday kind of Pong sort of thing. I picked it up for $10 at a flea market. The guy originally wanted 20 bucks, but I opened it up and I looked at it and it is in pretty rough condition in terms of like dirt discoloration. And I don't know if that's just dirt, uh, but for 10, I figured I would take it. The wood grain, the sweetness, the detachable paddles, again, also awesome. And so I figured what the heck. What kind of neat feature of this is that you can tuck the cable into the paddle itself. You see it has these notches. It'll go into here. And so it'll look something like this, which is kind of a nice, cleaner, sleeker look. But then, of course, if you want to sit in your rocking chair and play this game, you do have the cable. Besides from the obvious dirt, there are these indentations here. They're mostly on the front. There's a couple on the side. There's also a big one on the back. To me, what that means is at some point, this thing was sitting in a real hot place. And this cable kind of, you know, melted into the plastic which is generally not a good thing for uh, electronics. So that cleaned up pretty good with just some soap and water. This does seem a little discolored compared to the side pieces. There's not gonna be much I can do about that. There is a battery box. And while the one side is nice and clean, the other side is corroded. So that's not great. There is a nine volt DC in, so I could always try to see if I have something that would work for that. I have this Radio Shack thing that I can use all sorts of different tips, so I found that one works. I actually have it set at 7.5 for the moment, only because it actually runs a little high. That runs at about eight. And so I'm just gonna see what happens when I turn it on. It's not hooked up to a TV. It's making the, the usual noises, so uh, I'm gonna hook it up. Got it hooked up to this sweet portable Mitsubishi TV using a uh, Coleco, I don't know what that is, adapter kind of thing because it didn't come with one. I'm always nervous when I try these things on. So I'll turn the TV on. Okay. And on. Right. So I'm going to reset it. All right. So you can see something going on. Obviously there's it could be the vertical hold or something on the back of the TV, which I can adjust, but I'm going to give it a second here. So I did indeed have to play with the vertical hold on the back of the TV set. And now it looks like it's working. Pretty smooth controls, not jumpy. So let's see, I guess a manual serve. Okay. And I am playing, oh, oh, that was a good shot. Manual serve. Oh, <laughs> okay. I forget who I am. It's hard to play your. Oh, wow, that's actually neat that you can. Oh, I'm beating myself badly. Oh, man, come on. Defense. You got to watch out. That's actually pretty cool. That's a little bit different. Um, so this is, what am I playing? I am playing, I'm playing hockey. So that's kind of fun. Let's take a look at tennis. All right. So yeah, so this is, you know, oh, well, Pong. Lefty. Oh, jeez. Lefty is mad that, oh, come on, seriously, now I'm, that's, okay, that's embarrassing. I am editing this out. There we go. Let's see if it gets going faster. This is squash where you're against a wall. So, okay, so I guess it must have been the other dude's turn. So this guy, I guess it's this guy's turn. Let's see if I can keep track of this. What's the chances? Oh, yeah, it can't. No chance. This would actually be good to keep your brain straight. Okay, seriously. Front guy, your turn. Back, front, back, front. This will keep the dementia away. The last game is practice. So, yeah. I'm going to set it to auto serve. And that way, when I miss it, it should just be served again. Yep. Okay. Fast speed. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh. Paddle size, I'm going to set to large. So that all works pretty darn good. And then the last thing is angle. Right now it's at narrow angle. I'm going to do wide. So now I'm going to put it back to narrow. Oops. So that's actually pretty darn cool.